okay it's kind of overcast today um here in the food forest and in the city in general but i bring you here today because and i posted a video and i was like is my persimmon tree fruiting like is that happening oh i guess we can stop and smell the flowers as we go by the flesh is weak, whatever. I put some hibiscus in. They're beautiful, I love them. So, oof, let me just show y'all what's going on while I'm walking by. And yes, I had the biggest bowl of cereal. <coughs> so that congestion about to be real. That's my lion's head. Come on now, two feet, two feet. Trying to get that two feet this year. I think we gonna make it. Especially since, well, ironically, since the weather has been so trash, that might actually help it along, assuming, okay, well, because so much, so I got some dieback on it last year, because it kept getting too hot, and that tree is really not heat tolerant, so, um, oof, they are here honking about, this is my food, you persimmon. Um, pretty sure it's the only tree that's been in here since year one, and this is year three, or it will be. Like, it is the year of the third. So, anyways, I mean, just was, I just keep coming to look, because I'm just like, come on now, you're supposed to fruit, you got a fruit, like, and the reason to be growing all of these expensive trees, they're not going to fruit. And ain't no way these are not persimmon flowers at this point, okay? So I look at some other people's videos and photos and stuff of them. And this is them, okay? So they haven't really opened up yet. Because um, I think I read they weren't really supposed to just flower till May. My hand, it's just more hand than picture. I'm so sorry. May or June or whatever. But this weather is whack. Like I've barely gotten, I haven't gotten any strawberries yet. Even though they're flowering so profusely. Like this weather is just not it. So just weird things are happening but you know this weather is really kind of good for recording don't y'all think so there are so many flowers on this tree and you're not gonna i'm not gonna sit here and pretend like i've been being delusional now because at this point it's like these are obviously persimmon flowers even for someone who hasn't seen them in real life. Okay. Lord. If I'm this camera will focus. So we can see something. You see all of this growth. We're getting this time around. We actually got plenty of growth last year too. But. See those two pieces at the top. Now. My research that I had done. Had told me that. If it grows upright like that, it's a sucker, right? And that you should prune it off. But I was just like, ooh, if I take off those branches, because the way the tree came to me, it was already leaning to that side, to the, from this angle to the left, right? There was really nothing much on the other side. And I was like, if I could take those off too, this tree is going to be super, super additionally one-sided. So I was just like, we're going to see what happens. Like, I'm not going to take off. I took off quite a bit um, when I pruned it during the winter. And as you can see, okay, so in here, I pruned off quite a bit, right? And now stuff popping in right in the center. I was trying to leave the center open. Um, let's see. It probably was pretty best because it looked like it's some spots over here. Just the brewing on the leaves and stuff. And I mean, I feel like it's, well, to be honest, you see it's getting all crowded in here, but I was watching some videos about the back to Eden, um, what was that? Yeah, I guess, with pal, uh, I can't talk and show y'all at the same time, I'm so sorry. See, like, I was not really expecting it to keep growing in that direction. I mean, who can really expect these things? So anyways, I was doing some research about the back to Eden method. Um, 
and he was saying that the weight of the trees like the fruit can help to um you know increase the what's it called the uh angles there's a word it's supposed to go in there somebody help me so like the uh angles of the tree right so that say this wouldn't be such an acute angle once the weight of the fruit you know spreads it apart some now if i had cut all of these off cut these off you see all these flowers there's plenty of flowers on here and because the thing told me that well like the stuff i had read and watched said that the suckers tend to grow straight up i would have cut these off and it would have been so much less fruit or flowers on this tree because as yet they haven't turned into fruit but this tree is still fertile so that's the only it doesn't get attacked by some rabbit bear or something all of these should be persimmons so and i'm short so clearly i can't get all the way up there but these are all little flowers you see the little round pieces roundish like there are more flowers up there than on other parts of this tree but it's getting all this new growth and i just really did not well first of all i don't want to say i didn't expect so much new growth but i didn't know what was going to happen you really never can tell just how much growth you're going to get from a tree you don't understand yet like well i don't have a history with this tree of growing so much you know in one season so i really didn't know what to expect from it um but as you can see there's like stuff is like crossing over and whatnot and a lot of like folks are saying you know how it, it won't get full sunlight and all of that you know so all the fruit can ripen well but i'm just like this tree is in the middle there's no other trees there's no um shade here it's in full sun right and the sun travels throughout the day right so i'm just i don't know because it's super sunny here throughout we have a and we have a long growing season plus i was also thinking because you know if they say with the fool you persimmons you know you can leave them on the tree through january supposedly right so at that point there won't be any leaves on this tree either and it'll be winter so i mean there won't even be foliage on here to block any piece of sunlight at that point as the fruit continues to ripen this is my first this will be my first year getting persimmons and so everything keeps going well so i just i'm gonna see what happens with that um and i just really have faith that all my research has not led me astray and forming such a weird opinion i swear this tree looks so magnificent when the it's just like that it's so windy all of this foliage should be like real dark in a little while but for now it's bright mm, well i don't know i guess the tip for today is let it rock because all of those um flowers up there have the potential to become fruit and i would have had far fewer of them if i had pruned them off thinking they were suckers and i think in the future with other trees i'm just gonna let them fruit one one season and then see about pruning it just kind of to gather my own experiences on how the tree grows right Oh, see like this put off so much growth down here and now it's just basically on the ground and um it's probably for real gonna be on the ground um because it's got some flowers on here once those get heavy that's definitely gonna be on the ground i do have 
piece of comfrey right there, but comfrey doesn't work that well for keeping things upright. Like with some of the other things I've tried, um, I guess planting some rhubarb there would be a bad idea. The stalks would be stiff and would help support that branch. That's another thing that I do with like uh, companion planting. You plant like a nice like herbaceous layer or ground cover that's um, got like stiff stalks like this is yacon or earth apple the stalks are pretty stiff so fruit here above could get some support from this this will get up to about four feet right and that just takes some pressure off the branches um so assuming it does as well as it did last year just those nice stiff stalks to kind of support the persimmons you know because i mean this tree is only going to get so big and i believe though because even between like, the past couple years these branches have gotten thicker so i feel like if i get it through this year the branches will get even thicker and you know stronger be able better able to support the fruit each year but i can give it some support by planting companion plants you know that are very solid we'll say but that's just another companion planting tip. That's what I've done with the raspberries. I planted them into, planted them like next to um, upright bushes, like the blueberry. And that keeps the raspberries off the ground. So you get two harvests in that same space and you don't have to build any trellises or anything. So that was cool. And we're gonna try the same thing with my fruit trees just to maximize the amount of fruit I can get without damaging the tree. All right, well, that's a great update for today. And I will be stalking this tree and letting y'all know how everything continues to go. Um, of course, you wanna keep up with that. You can hit that like button and subscribe. And until then, <laughs> This is home as a jungle.